Tuesday. Uh, wait, Scad had to get back home. He ran to a friend's house and he took payroll to the shop. And uh, I think he was going to go to Aldi because he called me and goes, You want anything from Aldi? I'm like, I can't think right now. I'm doing W 2. <laughs> My mind was not even anywhere near anything that I would need from there. Um, so. My old bookkeeper came over, helped me do all my annual reports and get all my W-2s ready for all my employees. So they will be very happy. Um, so I'm just glad that's all over with. Everything came out correctly. All the numbers added up. <laughs> the printer, I don't think it was the printer. It was a little slow internet connection today from the cloud. So it took a while to print for it to processing the print. but. We just sat there and waited it out. <laughs> um, she's going to leave in a month uh, to go down to Florida for like five weeks. I said, you're going to go down by yourself? She's like, her two sisters are going to go down with her and spend the first week or so there with her. And then she'll just be on her own. Um, she told me she was going to go see some other friends of ours, mutual friends of ours, who go down to uh, Myrtle Beach. Was that South Carolina? She was going to swing over and see them when she starts heading back. The only sad thing is where she's staying. It's a free place, a, um, a timeshare or something that somebody she knows has. Um, or maybe they just own a place down there. I don't know. But there are no dogs allowed. So Bentley gets to, uh, going to go spend a couple weeks at Bill and Judy's. They live back in the neighborhood too. They're really good friends of theirs. And then they're going to go spend a couple weeks with her son. So, uh, she's sad that Bentley don't get to go, but Bentley, I said, he's going to be sad. He goes, she goes, he loves going to other people's houses. <coughs> Maybe it's like a getaway for him too. Who knows? It just, her husband's been gone a year now. I can't believe it's been a year since Sticker passed away. Uh, so she's just been on her own. I said, do you find it hard cooking for one? She goes, Stacy, I, I maybe cook once a week. <laughs> and while we were waiting for the thing to print, she we were talking about she wants to make unstuffed cabbage rolls. So I got on my phone, I opened my video, and we watched my video <laughs> on how to make them, how I did it. She's like, okay, cool. <laughs> and um, it had been seven years ago that I made that video, and I think that was the last time I made them. That might have to be on the agenda sometime because it's been a while. Because I'll have cabbage. I have a head coming in my Misfits box this week. And we have a half a head in the back room. I got rice. I got another pound of hamburger in the uh, freezer. We laid one pound out because Dad wants to make chili. And just mainly the other stuff is like onions, which we always have, and diced tomatoes. And I think about the only thing I would need would be, would be some tomato sauce. But yeah, that got in my mind of making those sometimes. But now I'm just babbling. I'm waiting because I'm sure Dad stopped at Aldi. And I'm sure he bought some things. And uh, when he comes home with things, I always meet him at the kitchen door and then I bring him in. Because I'm always afraid of him walking up the two steps with things in his hands. Because he needs to balance himself. So I always try to make sure I'm here to get the stuff from him. Um, now I'm just yakking. Okay. I've been filming Lego building. Just here and there, what I've done, just put together, like I just finished my first big tower. So all those clips will go together when I actually get it fully built. So now I have two videos on here. I'm going to have vlog, then I'll have Legos. We'll see how long it takes me to put the Legos together. So I get to work on it a little bit here and there. Shut up, Stacy. We're sneaking up on her. Say, happy Wednesday, kitty. It's now the next day. Are you sleepy? Are you sleepy? It'll be noon before you know it. It'll be noon before you know it. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Okay, last night I was laying in bed. And my cousin Ronnie, who rarely ever posts anything online, put up a little video on his stories on Facebook. And I saw this, and I immediately texted him. It was like, almost 10 o'clock at night, and but he had just posted it on Facebook, so I knew he was 
Man, my face is red today. Um, I knew he wasn't around. And I texted him going, send me that video, please, in my text right now. <laughs> and he did. And um, here it is for you to enjoy. Bell. Bell. No. no. Stop. Mess. Stop messing. Give me that. Give me that. Billy, get over here. Come here. Let me, let me get that tape. Come here. Caught up in your beard. Here, let me have that. Let me have it. Alright, that's it. You're a goofball. Well, there you go. A little Billy enjoyment. I've watched that clip several times just because it makes me laugh. <laughs> Billy is a character. But now I'm going to show you what the Humper's cooking today. He would just went to the store across the street to get a couple things, but I will show you what he's got brewing. A little pot of chili. And we actually did a little pot of chili. Our little pot's only like halfway full. We did good. So, yeah. It's gonna be a nice thick chili. It's cooking down. I sprung out one of my sloth tumblers and filled it up with ice. I love that ice maker. And tea. So good. I just put sweet mom in it. That's what we've used since I was a kid. We buy the big box of it and then it lasts forever. And then on the table we have a little jar with some in it. <laughs> So yeah, and dad brought home a special from the store. They had fried chicken. They always have fried chicken across the store. They have really good fried chicken. That cat, you know, she was in a bed not long before that. She could smell that a mile away, boy. She ate nearly a whole chicken leg by herself. I put her bite by bite. I think she ended up eating like 12 or 13 bites or something like that. And that's a lot for her, but she hadn't had fried chicken in a while. So she was like, chicken! Kind of like me. When I see it, I'm like, chicken! But all right. Tea. All right, bye. Dad's heading out to his meeting at the Legion. I just, whoa! I just dropped you. <laughs> I just did a baked potato in the microwave. I'm going to spread it out. This is one of our little plates. This isn't a full-size dinner plate, so that's not a giant potato. <laughs> just so you know. Um, now I'm going to... Put a little chili on it, sprinkle a little cheese, a little sour cream, call it dinner. There I put a little chili, a little cheese, and I nuked it just to melt it a little bit. Now I'm going to give myself a little swirl of a dollop of daisy. And then I'm going to go watch something on the DVR and eat my potato. Wednesday's coming to a close and she's here staring at me like, what do you want? What do you need? Huh? Did you say you ate a lot of chicken earlier? Yes, you did. Um, that baked potato was very good. I hadn't had one in a long, long time. Dad's like, he just got home. He was having a bowl of chili. He goes, you might have to make me one of those tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to get wrapped up for bed. Get all these clips together. Um... And I'll keep my friend Peggy in, in your thoughts because she's lost her dad and her grandma in the last week to COVID. So, and she still has an aunt on a ventilator in the hospital. It's just crazy. I just cannot imagine her poor mom losing her husband and mom within six days. Crazy sad. Crazy sad. Way to end the video on a high note. I know. But it's just still haven't left the house. <laughs> All right. Love you guys.